For the time I've been using Photoshop, one of the most time consuming and difficult things that people find is making selections. There's a brand new tool inside of Photoshop that makes it magical and it's much better than the magic wand. Hey Cafe Crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm looking at Photoshop 2020 new features. I've got two new features I'm going to show you right now. The first one is this amazing selection tool and then I'm going to show you something wonderful that we can do with gradients. All right, so here's a picture. We're going to use this and I want to select this flower crown. Now notice I've chosen an image that's not easy and I'll also show you there's no extra channels or trickery going on here. It's just a flattened image. We've got red roses against red hair, red cloth. So I want to select these. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. We're going to grab the new object selection tool. And there's two modes here, rectangle lasso. I'm going to start with rectangle and I'm just going to make a rectangular selection around the area I want to select. And then I'll just release and let Photoshop do its magic. And look at that. Photoshop was able to make that selection all on its own using its AI. So what if we want to add to the selection like this other rose up there? Well, I'm going to hold down the shift key, draw a little rectangle around it, release and let Photoshop select that. Now we can also use the lasso tool if we want to do things like maybe add to that selection. So there's a little bit missed there. Let's grab that. And if you want to take away, just hit the alt or the option key. Let's add a little bit more there. And that looks pretty good to me. So now we want to colorize this and rather than just applying a color, let's look at the new things inside of gradients. So the first thing we want to do is open the new gradients panel. So we're just going to go window gradients. So if they're not already open, here's our gradients panel. Now the first thing you're going to see is, oh, look at this. We now have groups. We can organize them into subfolders and this just helps us organize our gradients. You know, the basics here they are there. That's our foreground and background, black to white, foreground to transparent. And of course, if we go all the way to the bottom. We've got legacy and all our existing gradients are there. Now, if we want to have a look at these new ones, we're just going to click these open and look at this. Adobe have given us a whole bunch of new gradients. Now, if you want to open all of these at once, here's a tip. Hold down command or control, click the little disclosure triangle, and now all of them will be open. And look at that. We can go through and see them. Now, of course, if you want to go under the legacies, you can also control click those and see all of those as well. You probably didn't even know all of those actually were with Photoshop before. So we've got a ton of gradients now, but what's even better is how we can apply these to the image. Check this out. So I want to create a gradient overlay and why don't I go down to pick something like, I don't know, maybe something in an orange. All I need to do is just click and drag onto the document, that's it. It creates an adjustment layer with the mask automatically. Obviously that doesn't look realistic. We need to change the blend mode from normal to color blend mode. And there we go. Now we've got an orange flower crown. Now, the nice thing about this though, is if we wanna try different ones, in fact, why don't I just expand this out a little bit? All we need to do is single click, that's it. By single clicking, it literally changes the gradients that easy. So we could go into a different one, you know, greens. I kind of like these oranges. But what if I wanted to kind of tweak this a little further? Well, what I can do is take that gradient, double click it, brings up a gradient fill. I'll move this off to the side. And here's something that was always been in Photoshop. Maybe you didn't know if you want to move the gradient, you can click on canvas and reposition that gradient. So it's exactly how you want it. Of course, you can also change the scale and angle. Click OK. Now, all I need to do is just go here and just drop the opacity down just a little bit to kind of blend this in, make it look a little more realistic. And that was before. And that is after. So as you can see, we've got a couple of amazing new tools here inside of Photoshop 2020. Now, let me know in the comments underneath out of these two, which is your favorite? And also, how excited are you about this new update to Photoshop? And by the way, to update it, all you need to do is go up to your Creative Cloud, click on that and then go to Apps, Updates, and then just update Photoshop right there. So it's as simple as that to update to the new version 
of Photoshop. And anyway, guys, if you like these kind of tutorials and you want more of them, consider subscribing to Photoshop Cafe, where I do a new tutorial every single week. Ring that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video, which is every Tuesday. And of course, click the subscribe button. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share with your friends. Tell them about Photoshop Cafe. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.